Tom Campbell from Cultaholic.com along with surprise entry Adam Pacitti. We failed. There was no Adam Pacitti in Royal Rumble 2020. So let's start the campaign now for 2021. I'm going to get in shape. DDP Yoga's doing its thing. He's here to rumble. We're here for news. We have details on the Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle altercation last night at the Royal Rumble. A top WWE star was injured during the Royal Rumble. And WWE has made a change to its announced team. Find out more in a little while. Matt Riddle, he's a card, isn't he? Oh, what a cheeky little scam. I feel like every single time he is at an event with other wrestlers, with big boy wrestlers, he ends up backstage having a little honesty chat with them that's far too honest. You know what? I think it's just the guys who take themselves a little bit too seriously. I'm going to side with Matt Riddle here as a fellow 420 stoner blazer. That's not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think uh, he's he's just having a laugh, isn't he? He's, he's, just, having, he's a just having a bit of a having laugh. A laugh. He's having Oh, <laughs> delirious, to be honest. <laughs> We're going to get through this. So, yeah, if you're unaware, apparently Matt Riddle, Brock Lesnar had a bit of an altercation last night. This comes courtesy of Pro Wrestling Sheet, who say details are scarce at this time, but sources tell us that Lesnar and Riddle passed each other while walking backstage and a tense encounter ensued. Uh, one source said that Brock saw Matt and wanted him to know the reality of the situation between them. So Matt Riddle has a, ha has a habit of talking very frankly about other people, you know, and being very honest so in front, and, and there is something to be said for being an honest soul in the real world. Um, to Brock Lesnar. I mean, to Brock Lesnar, <laughs> you've, got to be, you've got to be able to back it up or run very quick. Now, the, the question is, the question is how of the legit, legitimacy of this, the <laughs> Granville Fetcher cloth, uh, the legitimacy of this, because backstage they were interviewing uh, a lot of wrestlers and they were filming a lot of stuff for WWE Chronicle, WWE 24. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, oh, was this a bit that was set up? According to three sources, the encounter was real and not something for the show. But the fact that the cameras were rolling, I mean, I loved that uh, episode of 24 with uh, Matt Riddle and Goldberg. I thought it was fascinating. I'm not your bro. I'm not okay, your guy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right, not your buddy so I can't wait to see this, but we've got a little while to wait until we do see it. Maybe we'll get the match first. There was something else that came of this that mm -hmm. suggested that Matt Riddle backstage and this whole altercation may have affected his his uh, dalliance in the Rumble. Right, yeah, so minor spoilers here. We're going to avoid the big spoilers for the Rumble in case you haven't seen it, but minor spoilers, chicken hats on. Uh, Matt Riddle was in the Rumble. He was eliminated very quickly indeed. By the by... Repo Man. <laughs> no, no, worse. Baron Corbin, King Corbin <laughs> eliminating Matt Riddle. And uh, you know what? I just think Matt Riddle was destined to have a slightly more... Um, a larger it, it, role in the yeah, Rumble. Yeah, rather than getting tossed out by Baron. I felt so as well. Like When you consider the players that are in that match and the fun they could have had, it did feel like a, a bit of a non-role for Riddle. Yeah, speculation. Absolute speculation. But it did feel weird. Mm -hmm. When we know more, you will know more. Also, another minor Rumble spoiler coming up. You know what? If you haven't watched the Rumble yet, just avoid the internet for a bit. You know, go to Boggin in, I don't know. Or watch the rumble. Uh, AJ... Where's Boggin in? <laughs> oh, you... It's next to tuberculosis. Um, so AJ Styles uh, suffered what looks like a bit of an injury to his arm That's when right. he was hoied out by the repo man during the match. <laughs> PW Insider saying that he was hurt landing awkwardly on his left shoulder after taking a wrestling move from a wrestler. I'm not going to say any more Close line than the that. Repo man. Uh, he came up holding his left arm and it has appeared that his arm was dangling. He was then eliminated. Apparently just before the elimination, a referee got up on the apron to communicate with one of the wrestlers involved here uh, and then Styles was eliminated. Another minor spoiler there. AJ Styles didn't win the Royal Rumble. Now you know that, but the arm was dangling. It sounds pretty serious, you know. You say that, but then my dad taught me this trick that where you could have your arm like that and you could just shake it and it looks like it and then it's broken. That's eat. definitely what AJ Styles was doing. Oh, isn't that fun? Uh, I've got my microphone. Not... <laughs> really, I'll do the talk. You, you saw that out, Tom. So AJ, get well soon. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we don't know the severity of the injury, but we'll keep. I your like your shoes. On that while you're down there. Uh, so, That's uh, a very AJ rude Styles, joke. Fingers crossed, he he is okay. 
Tom's reclipping his microphone. Professional as ever. I don't think AJ Styles was doing your funny little trick. I don't think he was doing the Alexa Bliss pop out thing. Hopefully it's not too serious. I really do hope so, because AJ, one of the top WWE stars, of Absolutely course. Absolutely is. My can't <laughs> oh, Next story. So, getting word from Big Dave Meltzer that an NXT superstar may be out for a couple of months. And it's a shame because it's a good one. Not that there's any bad ones. But I'm just saying it's a particular good one, you know. Yeah, no, it's really, really bad timing for this superstar. Io Shirai suffering an injury. Uh, Dave stated that he doesn't know any further details on the injury, but it's going to keep her out of action for two months. So she has been the centre of a lot of attention lately as Io Shirai, because mm -hmm. since uh, Stardom got bought by Bushi Road, uh, there are two names that they banded around that they want to bring in from the dub dub E to join Stardom. Kyrie and Io. And Io. And, I, and EO is, well, I've heard different stories say that EO is not massively happy mm -hmm. doing what she's doing in NXT. So when the contract time comes to an end, she could easily. And there was that was there was a lot of discussion about her going to Raw or SmackDown. So to she, make more money. To make a bit more of the old uh, dollar Rooney. Uh, so this is going to keep her out for a couple of months, which is a shame because she was making some great headway. Yeah, she was. I, I think mm. she's so, so good. I find her character at the moment really compelling. So yeah, really, really bad timing. Uh, on that. It's a pretty injury heavy news episode this. We've got one more to talk about now. Uh, it's an update on Alexander Wolf following Worlds Collide. Now if you haven't seen that yet, in the main event Imperium versus Undisputed Era, uh, Wolf was taking dual kicks to the back and the chest, but tucked his chin down uh, and then took a big old, and, and the, the, the referee very quickly sort of halted the match for a moment. Alexander Wolf couldn't continue competing in that match. Uh, Alexander Wolf giving us an update on Twitter. Um, quite simply, he says, I'm fine. Thumbs up. I wish I could have finished the match, but safety first. Thanks to Dw uh, Drake Wirtz and WWE Medical for taking care of me. You guys did an unbelievable great job today, as always. Most importantly, it was my fault. Hashtag. Chin up. Oh, I see. I was did, gutted uh... for him, you know. I was absolutely gutted because the closing image of that show was all of Imperium minus Wolf doing the signature pose, and it was wonderful. I felt so sorry for Alexander Wolf getting eliminated. So not eliminated. <laughs> getting eliminated. <laughs> Royal Rumble on the brain, uh, getting taken out of there so quickly. But so much it. love to everybody involved in that match, from Jer from Drake Younger on referee duties, who was able to very quickly spot the issue. Mm -hmm. And, and deal with it accordingly, which yep. is perfect. And then the guys who had obviously assembled this eight-man tag, suddenly one of the one of the guys in the eight-man tag isn't available to do any of the things. So you have to kind of communicate amongst each other and go, how are we going to get around this? How are we going to do this? And it was still a brilliant match. It was. It's a oh. testament to the talent of everyone involved Nominate. in that. That had you not known like how sort of serious that was, it, 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 well, you wouldn't have known, would you? Mm. Like, let's say that was part of the storyline. Obviously it wasn't, but let's say it was. They dealt with it so well that you just wouldn't have realized. It was it was a really, really great match and a great show overall. Re reactions and what happened at, if you don't know the results, uh, are up on the YouTube channel now. And yeah, get um, well soon. Yeah, get well mm. soon, big Alex. Bobby Lashley, no Bobby Leesley, bam. Not my words, the words of a Sleepy Bam Bam from Flintstones. And the words of Vic Joseph. Kick him while he's down, Tom. Oh, Kick him while he's mean, down. It's <laughs> me. So Vic was conspicuous by his bamsence of Royal Rumble last <laughs> night. Uh, Tom Phillips was in the chair, and it looks like Tom Phillips' lovely little bum bum is going to be there for a little while longer. That's right. Uh, PW Insider confirming that Tom Phillips has officially replaced Vic Joseph as the lead announcer of Monday Night Raw. That's why Joseph wasn't at the pay-per-view. Uh, it's believed that Vic Joseph is still with WWE, but he doesn't have a role moving forward on any of the weekly shows. But time will tell on that. It's a weird one because I don't actually know how good Vic Joseph is because it doesn't feel like he's allowed to say much more than the, the weird sound effect things. The stuff I've heard from Vic Joseph doing like House of Hardcore and things like that, I think he's he's got so much potential as a great commentator, but I don't know how much of what we hear on Raw is is very heavily controlled and some people can roll with that. Like like some of your, your, your great commentators over the years have learned to work around that. Some struggled with it, like historically Mick Foley yeah. quit doing commentary for SmackDown because he couldn't do it with Vince in his ear. He wanted the freedom just to do whatever. Um, and so, it, and Vic just, has, Vic just hasn't really contributed 
anything, it feels like. <laughs> no, no, and I, I agree. And I'm not saying that as a dig. It's just like when I listen to Raw, when I listen to, because I do a bit of that. I love to listen to commentators and how they tell stories. And I don't, I don't hear them telling stories. Like Jerry Lawler very much seems to has, have taken the, the sort of surrogate role of, of lead announcer when they became two. He tries, bless him. Not his, it's no. not his wheelhouse. No. His wheelhouse is when he's with somebody like a JR who went in, in you know, during the Attitude Era, JR in his heyday, like boom, bang, 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 line, 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 bam, lines coming out all the time. And Lawler was able to react to that well, but Lawler can't lead an announce. Uh, no, he's colour. He's always been colour. Always and that's, been. That's his thing. Uh, I, I'll be interested to see what they do with Vic Joseph next, because mm. I'd like I'd like to hear more from him, because what I, I do hear is all right. I, I just want to know where, like, how, how good he is. Tom Phillips is uh, one of these guys that seems to be right place, right time. Tom Phillips is Tom Phillips is a strong set of, he's, he's a good set of hands. I think, I, think I really like Tom. I, like, I prefer Tom. Wherever you can put him, he, he's fine. I think he's on NXT UK for the next couple of weeks because he did the recordings for them. He's uh, He was doing he was doing Smackdown until they made the big change and then yep. he was kind of, you know, without a home and he just sort of kept, kept his chin up. And, uh, and now he's now he's on Raw, so he'll do. I, I think he'll be. I think if we heard the stuff, the stuff that we heard with him and Jerry Lawler, it's a marked improvement. I agree. And I and I and I feel bad. I don't want to like I said. I don't want to kick Vic while he's down. You already done it, mate. I already have. <laughs> right. But but Vic, mate, big love, big love. It's a tough. It's a tough gig to go into to suddenly go. Oh hi, welcome to yep. WWE television. I know you've done two two episodes of anything ever, but can you now do Raw? What? Yeah. Mean. Fair. It'll be interesting to see uh, how um, how Tom behaves. Like if they if they tone him back, if they see that role as being something which is sort of a bit more minimal. Like if he's doing, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Come tomorrow, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you back on Monday. Raw Grady tomorrow. I'm back on Raw Grady. Yay! Tomorrow. You've been missed. Yeah, maybe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the Royal Rumble. Oh yeah, well, reaction. I was talking to them, not you. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and down below. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.